Hello and welcome to a game for no, Starlight, our season 4 bad. play day, 17, 18, around there. We still have a lot of games to go for our teams, but we also have a lot of games uh, to go today. This is uh, game number 2 of the 5 games that you're going to be able to watch on this channel. We're going to see Navi versus Lions Pride or L Pride, whichever you prefer. And just for your information, I will show you this. Boom! And that is the standings for Starlight our Season 4 as of right now. There is of course at this moment also a game going on uh, at this time between uh, Virtus Pro and, and Mouse Sports. So both of these might be uh, or might be dropping up with uh, Virtus Pro having the chance to get on the top of the list and Mouse going uh, up towards the same place where Navi is because both Mouse and Navi and Empire they are a bit behind on their games that's of course because they were at World, World Cyber Games they were in China so they missed a couple of days they have to catch up with that so for example Navi already has about three games for Star Letter one match up for, uh, for uh, Ghost League as you can watch that after this one they'll have a match at 7.30 between uh, Navi and KP which you also want to uh, Want to watch, by the way? Even though oh, there are so many games you want to watch, I hope you all brought dual screens today or bought them today, because otherwise you'll miss streams, you miss games, and you don't want to miss games because there are so many good games today that uh, it's just uh, yeah, you don't want to miss those. Uh, but we also have uh, got, like I said, Navi first line pride. Both of these teams are in the top ten. Of course, Navi wants to get those uh, points for this one, as that would make bring them on top of the ladder, and that would prove that they would still be on top of their game as uh, of course uh, they did not win in DreamHack so they might be uh, at a bit of a downside we will see how they're gonna play they of course won their previous game uh, they played against uh, 3D Max if I'm correct so 3D Max now with 12 games with 21 points but still not doing too bad but they uh, of, of course now be getting 3 points from that one and let's just remove that because we're gonna be seeing the draft we're gonna be focusing on this game Lions Pride versus Navi will Navi get those 3 points or will they go to Lions Pride that is the question we're not gonna see a Sven nor a Max Navi not really liking those heroes. We do see a bad rider because of that fact. It was the first pickup for Lion's Pride who managed to ban out the Bounty Hunter and the Undying. And uh, Navi, they picked up the Templar Assassin and Jig Hero. So, so far, pretty standard. Also with the Queen, Queen of Pain there on L Pride. Also pretty standard against the Templar Assassin in the mid lane. Uh, may, might not be able to kill it off, kill each other off all that well. But Queen of Pain will definitely be able to still get her farm, still get her last hits. But that might change if there's going to be a Darkseer up against uh, the Queen of Pain instead. Because the previous game... We saw actually a Darkseer winning against the Queen of Pain mid. Something that shouldn't happen, well, but uh, I, I guess we're not really expecting that. We're expecting a Templar Assassin mid and then Light of Heaven on a Darkseer on the solo offlane. So, so far for Navi, I mean, they only need to say, like, okay, we want a jungle hero and a carry, or we want a carry and a secondary support. That's basically their question uh, right now. Uh, so that's also the, the heroes that Lion's Pride is going to ban out, who ban uh, picked up a Keeper of the Light, by the way. So also for them, still a lot of p potential there. Bed Rider could also be going into the mid lane against the Templar Assassin, but could potentially also go on the off lane. Still a lot of questions uh, or options there, as we have the Enigma being banned out. They don't want Navi to have that one in the jungle. We might also see a Chen being banned out there, as we have got the uh, Phantom Lancer being banned out. That's the one that uh, Keeper of Light can uh, pair up with well, of course, but not going to see that happen this game. Because that would be a bit uh, too much with Lifestealer now picked up or banned out rather by Lion's Pride. Lifestealer who is in theory a bit of a counter towards that, uh, that Sven, but Sven already banned out as well. So I guess they just don't want to face him. I'm curious to see uh, who's going to be uh, the carry picked up for them that they think might be countering that uh, Lifestealer. Maybe they want to still go for a punch. Nah, it won't be. No, it won't be, won't be, won't be. Oh well. Uh, by the way, in case you're wondering, this game is also casted by another English caster. It's Toby that also casts uh, this match uh, afterwards. He will drop towards the defense and cast the uh, matches there. And um, I will be continuing casting Star Letter as well as then Epi will step in rather than Toby and will cast uh, the matches uh, of Star Letter for uh, the otherwise. Because there's always going to be two Star Letter matches at the same time. So really... Choices, choices, choices. I'm going to say it again. With the Wisp now being banned out by Navi. Don't want to be facing that. Don't want to be picking that one up. And uh, they don't have to because they just uh, took the uh, one of their slots to ban that hero on Lion Sprite. Now on their last ban, got to decide what they are not wanting to see. As uh, I mean, for Navi, I mean, it's fairly even easy to ban out the heroes now for Navi. Either carries or jungle heroes. Of course, there's not going to be enough uh, slots to ban them all out. So you have to make a choice. Do you want to be seeing that Chaos Knight up on Navi? Or do we want to be seeing Chen's puppy up on Navi? I mean, there's just uh, Reserve time. just that question. 
As for the person in the chat, 3D Max vs. No Tide Hunter will be after this game. So uh, no worries that you're going to miss that one. It's going to be... Um, basically, the way Starlada works is that they, of course, have three admins in total. Uh, Casper, Villard, and Matrix. And they just select their games, and then they create the games after each other. So if one game runs out, they will at least still be... Well, the, the next game that they would be hosting would also run late. And would also be post uh, delayed slightly. So, so that's the way it works. So you won't miss anything of the cast that I would do. And if you're following uh, Epi soon, then you won't miss anything that he would do because also he will be following a different yeah. admin. So that would be uh, that would be that. As it's the That's Tinker right. and the Faceless Void that gets banned out still, it's Luna that gets uh, picked up there instead, though for El Pride as a carry. We've seen Lunas before, and we're gonna see if this time they might be able to t to uh, take a game. As of course last game he was doing pretty well, but there was an anti mage, and anti mages do what anti mages do, and they did it successfully as well. We're gonna see a Brewmaster picked up by Navi. Interestingly enough, a hero that is a decent at level uh, 6 of course able to turn around fights with team with uh, his ultimate or at least start team fights with his ultimate rather depending on how much farm he gets if he gets that blink dagger up fairly early w which is of course going to be his aim I would expect and also depending on where exactly he's going to be because if he's going to be on the safe lane, safe lane with the Jakiro he wants to get that blink dagger fast and if he wants to start dominating the game fast wants to get that control of course Luna needs a bit more farm than uh, the uh, Templar Assassin and the Brewmaster to be able to have a big impact on the game otherwise she's just too squishy it's just that simple but uh, perhaps uh, Lion Sprite will still be able to hold their own long enough until that Luna is big enough. We're going to see what they're going to pick up ne next. As it's either going to be a jungle hero or of course uh, one of those heroes that's uh, going to be a secondary support for the Keeper of the Light Luna combination. That could all be possible. Perhaps we're going to see an Earthshaker again. Who knows? Earthshaker was a pretty big impact in the previous game. And you'd almost forget how big of an impact an Earthshaker can have in a game. And and that's a shame. Of course, Shakiro has been the one that's been replacing the Earthshaker in his role as a uh, support with that Ice Path. But I, I have to say, I'm still a fan of that Earthshaker. But, uh, but we'll find out shortly. As it could also be, for example, a, a tight hunter. I'm, I'm kind of mentioning team fight heroes because, I mean, yes, they have ki got quite a lot of that, and they actually pick up the Rubik, so they will have a lot of that still if they steal the Brewmaster ulti. And to be fair, Brewmaster ulti is very easy to steal from the Brewmaster if you wait for him to come back to his normal self. Normally, he doesn't really have the mana to th steal land a clap, or at least not early game, so he will be able to steal it and turn the fight around or or start a fight again after Brewmaster doesn't have his ultimate anymore. And Lone Druid is going to be the pick up for Navi as their last one, so I'm kind of curious is how they're gonna run their uh, their lineup as we have kindergarten in the game I didn't really check up who that was and we'll find out uh, shortly I guess if it's gonna be a uh, Navi player or not Wow I must be paying attention to those anyway let's just switch to the entire map so that we see that as we waiting for puppy to pick up his brewmaster at least I believe that he is gonna be that one yes he is in that pink slot as uh, we're waiting and waiting ten seconds remaining it should be fine. Five seconds Come on, remaining. you can do it. And that's gonna be it. So we're gonna see um, first who Kindergarten is. Because that's gonna be here. I mean, I'm I'm actually gonna be um, non-professional enough to actually check up his, uh, his team profile. And you'll be able to see that too. Because we want to see who that is, and that's okay. That's actually a force. Come on, take your name, normal name. But that's uh, that's just a force. So we have got uh, every hero. We have to get the full lineup for Navi, the full lineup for El Pride. So let's see who's playing what on the Radiant side. El Pride, Lions Pride, preparing for battle. Stark is going to be playing that Luna. We're going to be seeing. Hakon, I have recently learned, that's how you pronounce his name. We're going to see Hakon playing the Rubik. Da 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 will be playing the Queen of Pain. It will be Massacre playing the Bat Rider and Droid. Will be picking up or will be playing and has also picked up the Queen of uh, the, well, the Tide Hunter. No, what the fuck am I s Oh, sorry, not, not screaming. What am I saying? It's Android playing the Keeper of the Light. Wow, that that was hard, now, wasn't it? I know, right? Does but that's everybody of Pride. Uh, scouting out the jungle, they're gonna leave Luna alone on that bottom lane. Will, of course, be supported by that Keeper of the Light and, of course, also by Hakon on his Rubik. Da 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 will be playing the mid lane and Massacre will be on the top lane solo. And he'll be up against a fairly uh, hard lane for him because we're seeing a force on a lone druid, of course, able to throw out a wrestling with the bear, though the bear right now is on the bottom lane. He is going to be pulling the lane back so that Puppy can get some free farm on that bottom lane where he is going to be soloing it up. Picked up boots. It should be fine if he gets help from the bear, but the bear, okay, that was the end of the story of the bear. Bear is uh, going to have to be resummoned, so. <laughs> Unless Puppy can, can, can free him. Oh my god! Bear rescue squad right here! 
no more tangos and he's actually eating more trees than he should have but you know who cares no more regen for the solo off lane happy times as uh, that's gonna be an annoyed poppy probably he's gonna be dandy is gonna be playing the temporal assassin in the mid lane yeah. he is gonna be up against that on the screen of pain should be fairly decent lineup for either of the of them and both of these should not be dying. In theory, of course, as killing is always a possibility, as we have, of course, Dandy going for a fast bottle here, with uh, Dada -da having the same thing. Already picked up Sentry Ward, so can be going aggressive on Dandy, as he already uh, popped up the first refraction there and wasted some mana of, uh, of Dandy right there. On the top lane, we're seeing Light of Heaven on the darks here still, but th he is going to be in the jungle, so he is not going to be showing himself on the bottle lane anytime soon. Our start will be playing the Jakiro, also on the top lane. He got three, uh, three tangos for himself, and... You know he pulled uh, he pulled Poppy probably a bit with his uh, giving him tangos, but uh, in the meantime, a force on the lone druid as we already saw. So that's going to be the lineup for uh, for um, for Navi. As we're going to see who's going to be uh, winning these lanes. I mean for for Navi and uh, for Poppy. I mean he's not going to have a have an easy lane. He's up against a tri lane. He should be happy if he's getting experience, which he's not really getting so far. So apart from me saying. And Brewmaster can be doing a lot if he just gets experience. Well, he's not getting experience, so he's not going to be doing a lot just yet as he's going back to base. And um, I'm not sure what he is doing right now. He's just uh, not blocking, interestingly enough. So not really on the, on top of his game, I would imagine. Of course, also he's microing the bear in the meantime. Bear is going to be able, or it's going to be trying to pull the lane back, as of course it's going to be Keeper of Lights going to stop him from doing so, or try to stop him from doing so. If he can do it, that's the question. Uh, if the if he can if the creeps can attack the neutrals, there will be of course be something. We see Android trying trying for it, and he gets he gets them. He only one left for the bear to be pulling back, and the bear will try to pick him up again. This is an interesting micro going off right now, of course, and the bear will just get someone back. It's like, screw you, puppy, you get your own micro going. As it was working, you know, it doesn't work, and the bear will be uh, on the top lane to try and make a difference on the top lane to try and kill off the heroes there. But that's not possible because there is uh, no hero, or there were no hero there, and br well. But right now coming back, he's still level 1 though, not able to get any experience so far, as our force is already level 3. So uh, definitely not having a fun time either, as we can compare of course Massacre towards mm, Poppy. Tonight. Poppy already getting level 2, with uh, Bad Rider still level 1, so that's still in favor of Navi. As uh, we have got Stark still farming, happily we can compare Stark on his Luna towards of course a force on his uh, bear, on his lone druid. We have got 13 for 3 on the Luna with uh, 16 for 3 on the force. As the first blood goes, the gank happened. The bear taking a lot of damage for that one still, but it's, uh, it's the massacre that drops on his bad rider. Not able to fly himself away up to the high ground. Not when our is there with an ice pad, with a macro pyre. And that is going to be uh, the end of, uh, of well, searching for who's going to get first blood. As Batrider is already back outside the top lane, now level 2 at least. Able to get some uh, some harassment going with his, uh, with his sticky napalm. It also gets a dual breath, also getting slowed down. Still going to land some harassment up on our start, but he's going to be just fine. Even though he doesn't have any, uh, any regen anymore. But he uh, he's fine, he's just going ma moving backwards and will be... Uh, We'll be happy with that as the bottle just got picked up by the Queen of Pain again or got uh, switched back again as he's used all the charges and now also Templar Assassin Dandy probably also gonna need a new bottle change depending on who's gonna get the uh, rune of course which will spawn in 15 seconds let's see who's gonna try for it it's gonna be Queen of Pain are they gonna gamble on which lane it's gonna be so far I mean they're keeping tabs of who's going oh. where and they know well they probably know that one of them at least has a ward somewhere. It's just that uh, both of these have a ward on the different lane, and there's a 4 minute rune, and it is on the bottom lane. It's going to be a double damage rune. Who is going to go for it? Queen of Pain should be the one to be able to get it, because she is, of course, getting a blink. Uh, has that blink, but it will be Keeper of Light that will be going there, maybe. No, come on, go for a rune! Go for the rune! There's a bottle. Now you can go for the rune, please. I guess then he's already assuming that's being picked up since it's uh they don't have vision now, they don't know it's not being picked up just yet. Well Queen of Fain sees that it's not being picked up yet. Now goes for it, uses a bottle, finally. Thank you. Of course, uh, no real hur hurry for that one. As we have Bat Rider again being harassed, being chased down. Able to stay alive this time as the tower is still getting pressured slightly. Bear also gonna attack, gonna be resummoned for some reason. Even though he wasn't that low just yet, but at the same time, oh, and Tangle up on the bad rider, and that's gonna be the massacre. Is he gonna go down? A couple more hits needed. This might be the second kill of the game, and indeed goes down. Of course, getting a second kill. Of course, he wasn't able to pick up the last hit for the first blood, but still doing an amazing job uh, at uh, picking that one off. And of course, summoning the bear because apparently he got just got a new, uh, new level up on, up on it, perhaps, and indeed he does. 
not going for his ulti, but rather going for the new level of the bear. And that's gonna be uh, two kills going the way of Navi. Is still in the mid lane. Dandy on 23 for 10. With Da 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 with the double damage from 17 for 4. So Dandy's still getting ahead slightly with now Brewmaster trying to get that experience. That might be uh, just forcing Dandy to leave him alone trying to get that experience up to level 6. Or maybe they're gonna try to keep a, get a kill here. Of course, I mean, it's gonna be hard to take a kill on the Queen of Pain. She can just link away. So she's not gonna let herself be fooled. Mel damage going through. Sentry Ward countering the Sentry Ward. And that's gonna be that. As uh, at least uh, Queen of Pain will not be getting that much farm. Oh. Should not be getting that much farm here as the spill damage still doing a lot through this Queen of Pain. Use the bottle charges though. It's gonna be fine. Now the bottom lane is gonna be having Light of Heaven there as he will be having a bit more success than uh, the uh, the Brewmaster had uh, with the uh, Puppy being there. Invisibility room gonna be picked up by Puppy. That's some free experience right there. Maybe even a free kill if they can get it set up properly. Of course, there's not that much disable coming off from Navi. I mean, yes, there's an entangle, but you have to get lucky for that. As uh, Heiko now realizes he's being blocked, or should have realized that, and they instantly back off, knowing that something's wrong. They, of course, saw the invisibility room being picked up there. So that should be uh, the end of that as the Iron Shell goes on Poppy. And they are gonna go towards the mid lane. Iron Shell, of course, can harass that Queen of Pain a lot. She still has one bottle charge left. But uh, we're gonna see them maybe trying to do something. And as I said, I mean, as, as far as. Uh, as far as uh, the uh, the disable goes, they have an ice path. They have an entangle ice path. Of course, it's gonna not is is not a solid stone, so you can't dodge it if you're if you're or bait it out even if you're clever enough. As the iron shell, and now he shows himself again. Is there a clap? No, there is a telekinesis though. Jumps him back. Not gonna go for that level four versus level four versus level four. All level four on that lane. But that is um yeah. Ice path can be uh, can be stopped, and of course there's still Brewmaster LT which has a disable in it too, actually. But that's uh, gonna be on a cooldown, so not that much disable coming up from El Pride, uh, from uh, Navi. As for El Pride, they've got a Telekinesis, they've got a Lasso, <laughs> they've got a Mana Leak, and it looks to be maybe a minus disable, but also not that much disable. So the ganking potential, which normally needs at least uh, one or two stuns, is not quite there, apart from when you catch people out of position, like for example trying to do on this massacre, who's gonna go down for the third time this game, Jakiro picking him up again, Arsard having a happy time, he's got 700 gold, and at least, uh, well Poppy was able to get some experience there, no he was not, he wasn't there in time so he just uh, moved there for nothing, as he's gonna move back, he's been moving a lot around a lot not able to get his, uh, his star sorted as we have got the tier three, tier one tower still going down. Fortification goes off to try and delay it slightly. In the meantime, if we have Stock still farming up, he is still keeping up with a force actually on farm based on last hits. But of course, he's not going to have those kills that uh, a force is actually getting or the assist for kill season. As we have got Queen of Pain going for going for the next rune, blinks herself away from the trap and the rune is actually on the top lane. So that's unlucky for the Queen of Pain. Double damage rune going to be there. As um, well, they know it's there. Now he goes. Now he goes. Just wanting to have some more last hits as now Poppy takes over. Still not level six. Needs to be level six to be able to start uh, getting those team fights going. How many as uh, times for now. Oh, clap. Da da da. Can still be blinking away though. We'll be able to do so. Yeah, not really anything to stop those blinks from going off as Poppy gets nice. to wrestle up. But that Shadow Strike actually. Shadow Strike being level one only. That's enough to force him back. No mana I left anymore on Poppy either. Almost level 5 though. Happy times for him. And then almost level 6 of course. As we have uh, Luna finishing up her uh, Ring of Aquila. So we're gonna go to continue with their farming streak. As we have uh, got uh, Danny still. I mean he is coming towards the point. <gasps> Ooh, couriers. That's a sad courier. But he'll be fine. Don't worry, couriers lovers all over the world. It'll be okay. As the cat sounds go through, continue to go through the microphone. But yeah. Um around this time, normally Templar Assassins is gonna be on top of her game soon. She has he has got uh, a lot of last hits actually. I'm gonna actually gonna drop to net worth because that's gonna be more important now. We do see her second high highest up on net worth and she's gonna go for this indeed. Double damage run up on her, and that's the sick charge is being used. Looks like there's no damage done at all by that melt damage going through with a double damage run on there. But then he needs to be more mana, gotta go for another trap, gonna force out the blink from the Queen of Pain. And that will be it as Lone Druid comes in from the side. He gets an ensnare up on there and that will be the kill and that will be Dandy picking it up. And that should be uh, maybe a force ready to fight. A force who is uh, 
picked up the hand, a glass of haste up on his bear, so maybe going for either hand of Midas, or just wants to go for the uh, Maelstrom. Maelstrom, of course, being the item that is going to make the bear ready to fight a bit earlier as Illuminate goes through, but not doing that much damage. Tower will go through, second tower on the game going down on the side of El Pride. And even with the lanes not being entirely won, apart from, of course, top lane, Navi still having the dominance over the game. As uh, we're gonna see Elasu up on her board still. Can there be enough damage, though? No, there cannot. In the meantime, Keeper of Light goes uh, down still to the bear of a force. And now Shadow Strike up on a force, who is trying to get away. Fable's going through. He's locked inside, though, and he will be the one to drop. And he still gets in a snare upon the Bat Rider, but gives his life for a kill up on the. A keeper of light, not really worth it going down for, Radiant's but you know, what can you do? Attack. If you play that policy, you have to pay for it someday. 1500 gold up on uh, Vorst right there, so we're gonna see what item he's gonna go for. Time will tell us, and time we shall have, and time we shall get. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> in the meantime, Luna picking up a uh, blaze of electricity, so it's probably gonna go for a uh, for Yasha already, so going for Manstall maybe as first item. As Dandy is now in the top lane, he has enough money for a blink dagger if he wants it. Could be wanting and has also got a regen rune, so he seems out of mana, but he actually isn't. Illuminate will go through, but doesn't hurt Dandy anymore as he has the refraction up. It's not even going to be in range of that uh, Illuminate. As there is a puppy, almost level 6, 11 minutes in. You can do it. You can do it. There's a blink dagger up on Dandy, and he TPs towards the mid lane. Roshan's going to be the target for Navi, and they should be able to take it down as well. Because there is not that much, uh, <laughs> that much an elf ride that can stop this from going on. To be fair, and there is indeed the Minthra Hammer. Woohoo for me because I do love Milstrom, and that's gonna be the item for Vorst. And uh, that's gonna indeed say they're ready to fight as soon as he got it up. Maybe they're gonna try to force our team fight. They do have the Brewmaster Ultimate, of course, uh, then as well. And the thing about Brewmaster Ultimate is, I mean, between level 6 and level 11, it's all going to be doing the same, so it doesn't really matter if you're level 6 or level 11. If you're going to be fighting with that ultimate, you'll still have it. At the same time, Rubik also has his ultimate up, so we'll be able to steal some kills, and we're going to see also the Luna being able to have her ultimate up. She should be having her Yasha complete right now, and there it is. And we're going to see, indeed, five Mandora coming off from Navi as the bear... Where is the bear? Bears! Radiance bottom tower is under He's going to wait for the recipe. There it is, and now we can come back. And that's going to be tower going down. TP out of there to the mid lane for uh, the dark here. Maybe able to defend his tower. Perhaps fortification goes off. They do not want to lose their own tower. Three heroes here of El Pride. And then also now two heroes here of Navi, with Puffy being level six. In the meantime, mid lane. Needs an entangle up on the Rubik Bear. Gonna try to do his job. Entangle gets it now as well. Rubik level six. Queen of Pain blinking forward though. It's gonna be the Rubik still getting harassed by that pair. Ice Bat goes through and that's gonna be already Queen of Pain going down. Jakiro picking up the last hit. More TPs incoming. Luna picks up the kill for Lone Druid. Now, Lasso upon Dandy. Dandy trying to get away from that one. Uses the stick charges. Won't be able to get away from that one. Or should he? Nice dodge from the tower hit. And he is able to stay alive, and now the fight gets turned around by Brewmaster Ultimate. No blinding light will help you now. Brewmaster, Poppy picking up that kill. Who wants to go for another one? Stalk is going to be dropping here for sure, as it's Poppy again that gets a kill. Double kill for him. And now Massacre got a tornado to postpone from him from taking him down, at least. It's going to be Massacre still dropping, and this time it's Dandy picking up the kill. Dandy, who was so close to dying. Ice path from the Rubik still goes through. Rubik. Telekinesis up on Dandy, Refraction gets picked up, he has an Iron Show up though, wants to go for Hakon, gets the kill there as well. Poppy at level 6 doesn't care that he doesn't have ultimate anymore. It's gonna be also a double kill, triple kill for Dandy rather. Keeper of the Light drops, Stick Charge being used by Dada Dust, Sonic Web going through, Dandy goes down but has an Aegis. We'll be up again shortly, back ready for action with Dada being the last zero alive, might actually try to go for this as the traps goes up and he does of course have that Blink Dagger. So even if Queen of Pain blinks away, which he will be doing shortly, oh, Dandy thought he was blinking the other way, perhaps, or he was just worried about Luna TPing in there as he came back to f came back to fight. But Navi winning that team fight after being, oh, well, I have to say, it started to look like Lion's Pride was going to be taking the team fight with so much disable, but the focus wasn't there. Dandy did not drop, and he was able to turn that game around, of course, of together with Puppy's ultimate from his Brewmaster. And that was uh, that was a good fight for Navi. It's now 12 to 2 on the kill score, and uh, we have seen this before. We have seen Navi going for that lone druid, and then as soon as the lone druid has got that maelstrom up, or has got his item up that he wants, of course it's not always maelstrom actually, but in this case it is, and he has got those items up, and he will be joining fights, and Navi will be able to go for a five-man push. And there we go. 
for. Well, we don't go anywhere actually. Oh, Pride is continuing to farm. Queen of Pain going for a BKB by the looks of it. No more ice paths for him. No more iron shells. Pet Rider doesn't have that much. He was, of course, on a solo offlane. We can still compare him to Puppy, of course. Uh, but after last team fight, actually, Puppy actually has a lot of gold, almost has got his brood, uh, blink dagger. But the Pet Rider, far from having a blink dagger. As, um, we might see a push coming into the mid lane. Dandy also with an invisibility rune, also trying to see if he can snipe someone off before going there. He does see the Luna right there. Will he want to go for that? Maybe he wants to go for support instead. Of course, Keeper of Light being around there. But here comes Danny. He still wants to go for that Luna. Let's see if he can get it. There goes Mel Damage 1. There goes the trap. Thou shall not run. One more damage to go. And that's going to be a kill indeed. Danny picking up the kill. Very simple. Very clear. Very easy. As now here comes Android. Let's see if they can do something. It doesn't look like it as the Rasmus goes through on the tier 2 tower. Illuminate will still go through. And it's actually a trap from the Keeper of the Light that maybe... Uh, yeah, maybe he's doomed. Blinding Light will still have power. Missed chance upon Dandy. And is he gonna dive inside the base? It's his wrong base. That is not your base, Dandy. Go away, Dan Android says. Android though, one more hit away from dying. And is Dandy gonna get it off? Those towers are hurting him so much. Now damage will stop everything. No matter also to blink away though. And meantime, I'm just gonna sit here. Meantime, Darkseer picks up the Rubik on the top lane. Is he just gonna wait until his mana is back up again to 75? Radiance bottom tower is under attack. There he is. Where's he gonna go? Ah, he's gonna take the chance. Otherwise, he would have died regardless. But uh, Stark still picks picks up the kill. But that's that's not worth it. You don't dive your enemy base for a keeper of the light kill. Just to die afterwards. Radiance but that's also the the curse of attack. having no mana. As now Stark looking for another kill, looking for Arsard. Can he keep up with them though? I mean, of course, there's going to be extra speed upon Stark because he is the fastest hero in the game. But is it going to be enough? There's the losing beam. Here comes the creep wave. Dual breath misses. Arsard is definitely going to drop here. Ice pass still hit though. Oh, might be able to stay alive. Uh, here comes Stark again though. And a juke! What a juke! What a joke! He didn't see him! He was here and then waiting for him and he just walked around. And that was of course perfect vision for our side. Because he had the creep wave there to help him out. Now blink away from the Queen of Pink because he is very low on HP. Uh, Spirit Bear was looking for an entangle, not gonna get it though. Our side, or sorry, her force is just gonna continue farming. 1800 gold up on him. And so the blink dagger on Templar Assassin is now being accompanied by a uh, Chrysalis. And we already saw, but I didn't really say anything about it yet. Keeper of Light gets picked up by uh, Hell Out of Heaven. Entangle, Rubik. Yeah, that should be a kill also. Should be. One more hit. Oh, 9 HP. Oh, Orb of Venom? No, no, that's not going to be a kill. But what was a kill is uh, Force going down by the Luna there. So he picks up a kill on the side, and that might make sure that Navi is not going to go for anything anymore. Blink dagger up on Puppy. Surge away from Light of Heaven, gets a Shadow Strike in the face, so there goes also losing Team. Queen of Fame blinks afterwards, and they're fighting back. Sonic Wave, one more hit needed, or is it? Is it ah, that's gonna be enough. Best Massacre picking that one up with his uh, Flame Break. And that's, uh, that's gonna be, I mean, El Pride. I mean, yes, they lost a massive team fight on the bottom lane, but they're just showing that they're still able to fight back. Yes, there's a 10k advantage for Navi, but that's also because we see already three towers going down on the side of El Pride. But they still haven't taken down towers just yet, and the moment they start doing that, that gold craft will be going into their favor again, or at least more into their favor than as they are. The uh, experience craft shows it more. It was very even until that bottom team fight where it just dropped down towards the 10k mark. But now, with the last couple of pickoffs that M L Pride has been able to do, it goes back towards that zero lane, uh, zero lane, even though it's now at 7,500. Still in favor of Navi, of course, by quite a bit. But uh, L Pride, definitely not hopeless just yet. As we have Dandy finding more kills. One melt damage is going to do half the damage up on Rubik. Will we still go for it? Only needs it to blink. There he goes. And Haste helping out, of course. The melt damage. Then it's a kill. Dandy just picking them up left and right. He's got seven kills right now. He's got one death only. He's been in 11 out of the 17 kills in total. And he is indeed on the top of the kills and deaths assist charts. Which I now put up. Wow, Jakiro not dying yet. Oh, Android. Blinding Light might help him. For a short period of time. Oh, that miss. There's a trap. Now then they realize they have to spend a bit more effort and try to take him down. And we're gonna try to juke him. No, not able to do so. And here comes also <laughs> uh, a force to try and help out. Should have been needed in the meantime. 
Beth Rider does now have a blink dagger. And he wants to go for it. Blink, a lasso hits up on the Master of the Bear. And it's going to be a Forest, who is going to be taking a lot of damage there. And Thomas is Bear. Is he going to get an entangle before he dies? No, he is not. Queen of Pain picks up the kill. Now a Forest by his batch. And Dandy will be walking away from that one. Happy he wasn't the one that got put into a lasso. High spat, Legends on the Bat Rider. Losing Beam as well. R Sword, gonna take some harassment here. Or can they keep up with him? CP out. Losing Beam, not gonna be there, but the Flame Break will still and drop the TP and Stark picks up the kill. Pathetic. So, as I said, kills left and right. And the thing that we have to note right here Radiance bottom tower has fallen. is um, that the pickups for El Pride are actually on the on the carries. They're on the on the Vorst now twice in a row already. Uh, of course, the support still up on our side. I mean, yeah, that also happens. But the pickoffs for Navi, they are on the supports only. On the Rubik, on the Keeper of Light, ev everything that Dandy finds just goes down. As the recipe for the Daedalus has been purchased, so we just need the uh, Demon's Edge, and then he has that one complete. In the meantime, though, the gold still goes towards Navi. Experience graph also with even the, as what we last saw. As for, as for Navi, it only matters. It's a matter of time when they're gonna go for that five man Dota again. And going for the mid lane, for, for example, to try and take down the tier, tier 2 tower. Maybe force out a fight as uh, now Da 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 almost has a BKB, now has it actually. And here they come. There are indeed five heroes going towards the mid lane. Need Ensnare, doesn't get Ensnare on the first hit, no kill on the Queen of Pain. But Puppy coming in as well, as well as Arsard hanging around here. Arsard is going for a. Uh, for a, um, what's it called, the Chronomicon. So pushing power all the way. As in the meantime, a force. Now, 1k gold in his inventory. I do feel like he's missing something. But maybe it's just because he got picked up a couple of times. Looks like it. Of course, got face boots on his bear. Roshan is going to be taken down there by Navi. As while well, that's going on, I'm going to take some water because I need it. Okay, apparently my microphone sensitivity is enough that you could hear that, but oh well. That's me drinking water. <laughs> Interesting. Rusha, speaking down. Slow Druid, picking up the edge. No real surprise here. He wants to be able to keep his bear up at all times to get those entangles. Because those entangles are key when you're fighting against the Queen of Pain. And also against the Luna, because both of those heroes are very mobile. And the entangles, of course, go through BKB. And both Luna and Queen of Pain have that BKB. And that's indeed all the items uh, that are up, uh, that are worth mentioning. As people realize, building towards a uh, mechanism might actually have it complete, depending on what the courier brings. And that's indeed the mechanism being complete up on Android. Yeah. Of course, looking for something, because they have again five euros on this, uh, well, four in the middle lane, one on the bottom lane. Split push there, dual breath, massacre, in some trouble. Needs a lasso, maybe? No, goes down before. The bear gets the kill. That's one pick up. And still Poppy farming on the bottom lane. He is level 12 right now, so has got that level 2 ultimate. And after having a very bad start uh, in terms of farm, he is actually third of his team. So he's uh, managed to pick up on himself. Of course, it's also helping with the team fight on the bottom lane earlier. And he is not the one that got picked off. But the kills that El Pride got. Usum Dean, Telekinesis, Ice Pet goes down though, then he blinks in, wants to go for Hakon. Is he gonna get the kill? One more hit from going down as uh, Stark picks up his Eclipse. He does not do enough damage up on the carries so though. We already have a Jakiro going down, but that has, doesn't have that much of an impact. Then he getting mana leaked, does not have refraction for another second. Ruby dropping here as now Queen of Pain looking for a kill. We'll find it as well. That's the Aegis going down though, Entangle up on da da da. That's why you keep the bear up. And that's why Queen of Pain will be going down. One Drew picking up, last two, gonna be too late. Another Entangle up on the Bat Rider. And that's going to be a losing beam going down, but it is still going to be a force that goes down after losing his bear, sad bear. And it's going to be three, four, two. Queen of Pain might have dropped, Rubik might have dropped, but um, yeah, Luna, Keeper of Light, Rubik still alive with Poppy Arsar and Light of Heaven still alive as well. Or oh, actually, of course, Arsar only alive again as he uh, got back up again after dying. He's level 11, so he has got the levels to be up fairly early again, as we see Luna being very high up there on those uh, n on that net worth chart as well. And he might be able to carry his game to safety. 
if he just continues to keep up his farm and actually keeps ahead of Navi, because Navi got a bit more care potential heroes than El Pride has. Based on damage, because of course the Queen of Pain is going to be nice, but care potential wise, her damage is easily countered by having BKBs. Which are not up yet, by the way. Brewmaster, gonna go for an Agonims. Hope he wants to be able to split every uh, 70 seconds, it is. Every 140 seconds, and with the wrong ultimate in mind, I guess. 1900 gold up on the uh, stock on his Luna. In the meantime, Light of Heaven also building towards a pipe by the looks of it. Picked up the mechanism, of course, got 1k gold in his inventory still. As we actually have Dandy farming the Radiant Jungle purely because he can. Picked up the Blades of Attack. Armlet? Really? I'm not expecting an armlet. Does he really want another Daedalus, perhaps? It has been done before. Should be possible still. Illuminate to go through. Where? Creep wave down. Oh, the knee. There's, of course, a ward here for the Radiant Team. Oh, the rune goes to the TA. TA finds the Queen of Pain. The blink was on cooldown. Oh, 38 HP. Telekinesis now up on Dandy. He does not have a BKB, but it doesn't matter. Lance of Trap, but actually, this is interesting to see. There's four heroes there, five heroes there, and he scares them all away. He blinks in, goes for Mel Damage. Mel Damage actually misses for the blinding light was hit, and it's still going to be Android that goes down. Dandy has a haste rune, is able to be unstoppable with that one. It's gonna be Luna that he wants next. Luna uses her tranquil boots, wants to be able to stay alive, will be able to stay alive, but there's still someone here, and it is Massacre. Tries to blink away, but there will be a trap. There will be a sooner blink as well. TP is gonna come out, but will there be enough damage to go through? Maybe? No, there's not. So it's only gonna be Android that got, uh, got killed off by that one, and that was also Poppy's ultimate being used. Queen of Pain force back there, as it uh, looks like the second tier, tier 2 tower might be on the pressure. No, they back off actually. Hmm, interestingly enough. And now they're gonna try to go for maybe this. So we have got Rubik and Batrider looking for a lasso perhaps. They see where they all are. They also need the Luna though, they need stock. The counter word, and there's a blink in, and the last two up into the other side. Dandy already dropping, stock picking up the kill. Not Poppy has a backup. Does have his blink dagger, of course. Looks like he will be fine. El Pride setting up a good team fight, and, and by the way, this is one of the things that we know El Pride of. Uh, they can be at a disadvantage at the start of the game, but basically all games that you'd watch with El Pride are fairly long games because they just they're they are being so careful that they're actually their turret potential with that. Regardless of which heroes they have, they're actually quite good as Massacre now going to lock this side. Nice fast Necrofire as well. Massacre trying to get away from this one. Will not be able to do so, but will be picked up. And now Stock picks up the Jakiro in turn. Die back for Massacre on this bad rider. Uh, Force trying to get away from this one. Will be able to do so. Does not want to be in this fight. The reason uh, that is is because Puppy is already down also. It is uh, Dada Dada picks that one up. And now Surge away from Light of Heaven. Does not want to get chased down. And uh, should be safe again. Eight seconds on the Blink Dagger for Massacre. And no last two. We'll make sure that he kept, he's being kept safe. So yeah, it's going to be very hard for Navi to push up on this uh, on this team right here. And of course, I mean, I just said, I mean, regardless of what lineup El Pride has, they will be fairly decent at pushing. But their lineup is actually very decent for Ant to push as well, with the Illuminate, with the Rubik Fade Bolt, with the uh, Batrider just being able to blink in and drag someone forward, back towards the base, back towards the fight, put someone totally out of play. Queen of Pain, of course, also with the Scream, able to counter push uh, heavily. So don't count them out just yet, as we have the gold graph still fairly even. And the thing about the gold graph if, is, if you are being able to keep it even, you're actually getting ahead. So in this sense, it's El Pride that's keeping even and is therefore getting ahead. Experience graph, same story there, even though that's a bit more of a yo-yo, because there have been kills on both sides. As now the last couple of kills, of course, going the way of El Pride once again. So going the way of the Radiant team, and therefore putting Navi again a bit of, of uh, well, at a bit of a, uh, not of the back foot, that's for sure, I mean. <coughs> that's still going to be uh, Navi in favor for this game, but the thing is, if you're going to be having, uh, having these, if, if you're going to try to push into another person's base and you're not succeeding, I mean, you don't want to continuously push against the base that you're not succeeding for because you might be feeding your Radiant's opponent kills that you don't not want to give attack. them. So they need to be doing the thing that they would try to do just now. They tried to pick off uh, Stark on his Luna, but Stark Radiant's was able to TP out, out in time. Attack. So I was not able to get caught out of position, but that's what they need to do. They need to put someone out of position, or find someone out of position, 
kill him off, maybe do that with one or two heroes, maybe the two heroes of course better, and then try to go for a push. But El Pride, like I said, their positioning is so spot on, that and, and their map awareness is just okay, it's just good, that they know where they should and should not be, most of the time. Of course, I, I might be proven wrong here in this, uh, in this very game sooner or later, so I'm just gonna hold that one for a second, as of course we'll, we'll know, we know that Navi is, uh, of course, also a master of control. So might be able to do this, as indeed it's going to be a second deadless up on Dendi. And if they if they don't win this match, they will not be on the top of the of the charge for uh, for Star Ladder, and it will actually be uh, Empire that is going to be able to do that with the game that they have after this one, because Empire is going to be fighting Illuminate uh, later tonight. It's going to be first be no title versus 3D Max though. Don't worry, so all games that wrote. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> Dendi just standing there next to da da da. Doesn't care though. Illuminate's gonna try to stop the pushing tower. Will drop this time though. That's at least some uh, small victory for Navi. <laughs> no, it isn't denied. Queen of Pain, da da da, doing the works. Queen of Pain, of course, going for a blink, uh, for a uh, hex. You need to also control their opponents. If you're gonna make, be able to make sure that uh, that puppy cannot split, it's of course a bit thing. He's able to TP out. So now realizes nowhere to be find, found, so it has to be. Uh, Having TP'd out. The smoke up comes from Lion's Pride. And they're going towards the middle the top lane because that's also where Navi is. What did the courier just bring? Who did the courier just bring something? Necronomicon level 3? Uh, level 2 rather, up on the Jakiro. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually Navi backing out again. Light of Heaven, pipe completed up on him. In the meantime, Lone Druid going for an assault Karas. Of course, uh, well, almost has that to be fair. Just needs the recipe uh, to be complete. There's a smoke up for Lion's Pride. They find someone. They find our star. Tell the Kinesis up on him as well. Get searched, but doesn't matter anymore. Or does it? No, it doesn't. And that's a, qu a quick pick up. It's of course. I mean, you go for oh, even a oh, even you can be used for that. You go for a smoke gang to pick up a hero, and then you know. You pick up a, a support Jakiro only and you use BKB charge for that, that's not good. And of course Nuffy knows that also, but now the BKB on cooldown, there's the BKB from Luna as well, turns around and it's gonna be uh, supported by Massacre who's looking for that blink, looking for that initiation, but this blink there got, got interrupted and now Nuffy on the way out. And now they know two key heroes for Lion's Pride have got no BKB and there is no Eclipse up on Luna either. This is their chance to at least take down the tier 2 tower. Queen of Fain though, pick, picking up double damage room. And that's gonna be uh, the Manta Cell up on the Luna also. So we've got Brewmaster still building towards his, uh, his Aghanims. Blinding Light going through. Blink in, Lasso, Dandy is a target. Tower still goes down. Puffy is also gonna be a target. But he is gonna be splitting and he is gonna go for Stoke. Stoke already goes down. Darkseid picking up the last hit. Darkseid will be in place perfectly there. As he might as well have gone down to his own Lucius. And now Massacre, the one that initiated, is gonna be going down here too. Two heroes dropped for All Pride. No BKB yet on the Queen of Pain. Actually, he's back up again. Can try to BKB TP up, but no, the Ice Path is first. And there's still B BKB blink away. Can he go for something? Buy back up a sock. Sonic Wave going through. A Force getting a Rast here. He's one more last hit to get denied by Dandy, who blinks away afterwards instantly. And now, there's an Necronomicon, Arsard's gonna take one for the team, trying to slow his opponents down, trying to save his own team from going down, Ice Path uh, goes down, but Sog picking up his BKB again, and it's him, him that picks up Arsard, and the rest of Navi on the way out, and again they are not able to push into the tier 3, but they did pick up the tier 2, that is no tier 2 standing anymore on the side of El Pride, with only one tower going down on the side of Navi themselves. And that is gonna be the game still in favor of Navi, but still El Pride, they're holding on, they're fighting. And they're fighting hard. Oh. And that's gonna be only 200 more gold for the Aghanims, that might make a difference in the playstyle of Navi. As we do have uh, Dendi still not finishing up his second uh, Deadless, and that's indeed gonna be uh, Puppy Dyer's finishing up his Aghanims indeed. Attack. In the meantime, Light of Heaven, 2400 gold up on him. 
curious to see what he will go for as it's Roshan that's going to be taken down by Alpine unless the Navi thinks to do something about it. The TPs come out, they know he's up. Will they be in time though? More TPs coming out towards the tier 2 here. Uh, with Puppy having a, a, a invisibility room, they might be able to smoke up in, or to see what's going on. Ice Bed will spot it out. Blinken, Dendi picks up the ages and Roshan goes down to the dire stock. Puppy comes to ultimate. That is Puppy still going down. No split for you. And that is going to be Rubik. What did he steal? He stole the vacuum. And that's going to be still Dandy taking a lot of damage. Aegis goes away for that one. But Queen of Pain still alive. There's still nobody dying from El Pride. Now the first one goes down. It is the Keeper of Light that goes down. There's Cheese still on the floor. But who cares about Cheese? There's a team fight. Well, not really going on actually. But it's uh, waiting to happen. Another blink and Cheese goes to the massacre. So he'll be having that one. As uh, the TP out goes there for the Luna. The only one that goes down there for the El Pride is their support keeper of the light. But they did lose the Aegis. They did lose the kill on Roshan by the Duke take down Puppy on his Brewmaster. At the same time, Puppy's not too sad about that. He didn't lose too much with that. Because, of course, he, of course, he just bought his Aghanim. So he's still... Um, he's still uh, used his gold. But it's going to be Keeper of Light at that... Uh, and Navi is happy with not having it against them because that Illuminate was just very dangerous, of course, with, or dangerous, very annoying to just push the Creep Blade constantly out. Now without him, and they can do some damage to the tier 3 and are actually able to bring it down towards 300 HP. And gonna probably back off after that unless, of course, El Pride's gonna make a mistake there, but it doesn't look like they are. And they just back off with even Puppy just TPing top and continuing to farm there. As we have Hakon, 1k gold in his inventory. Maybe still going for an urn with these, or maybe just two, go two, uh, two bracers. More HP is never bad. Never bad indeed. I saw Grass up on the Lone Druid. 1200 gold already up on the horse afterwards. Our start still doesn't have more than what we saw earlier today. So we have uh, the recipe for the Daedalus being picked up. So that will be. Uh, there will be Dendi waiting for that one as he was waiting for his demon edge. And hopefully he has enough of that soon as we're going to follow him while I'll drink more water. Same time smoke up for El Pride. Let's see if they can help their teammate. Puppy forced out uh, the illusion rune, I guess, from uh, the Queen of Pain. And they're gonna try to cut off Puppy here. Puppy's gonna rock to the high ground, maybe trying to take down some ancients. Or where is he going? Uh, he finds Massacre. Massacre can blink in if he wants to. There he goes. He cannot blink away. Last he goes upon Puppy. Illuminate goes through as well. Cannot split yet. We'll be able to do so if needed, but it's not needed anymore. And it's actually them that back off. They were afraid. Now Telekinesis upon Puppy. They're still afraid. They cannot do it. They don't have the carry with them and they needed to force that forward. But Hakon still going to get picked off with a lucky entangle from the bear and the rest of uh, El Pride gonna be able to get away apart from Android who is gonna be locked inside an uh, in in ice path and will be going down to Puppy the very target they tried to go on but yeah they do they need the Luna to do the damage and Luna wasn't there Luna actually managed to get the cheese with uh, Bad Rider giving it to her as we have a Navi now without the Keeper of Light again without the Rubik going for the tower again the tier 3 Iron Shell gets put up there Shadow Strikes going through they, do ca they can reach some of the bear if they want to 2600 gold up on the force in the meantime the bottom lane is gonna get harassed Queen of Pain gonna come in tier 3 tower already going down vacuum back in here BKB is activated as well as the Ghost Scepter Stog though is gonna pop his ultimate but it's already very low on life he still uses the cheese able to be back alive for now but not able to do the damage just yet as we have got already 4 heroes dead on the side of El Pride of course well 2 Two already were dead, as now Stock trying to take it back, trying to force them out. We'll be able to pick off uh, the uh, the Necronomicon Warrior. Takes a lot of damage with that Ice Path. Uh, gets vacuumed back into Macrofire as well. Stock now having to back away, gets slowed down as well. And now Akon gonna get killed off by Jakiro's last hit, actually. Our start picking off that one. And Tangle Wall Stock. This is a uh, forced so lucky on these Entangles today. Android needs an Entangle. Entangles. Entangles. Iron shells. Okay, no kill there. Of course, just when I say that he's lucky with entangles. Oh, see? Entangles! Illuminate will kill the bear, though. Queen of Pain will be able to link away. And Forced also backing off now. Forced that forward from the, on the stalk. Still lands the Lucent Beam upon Danny, who has his iron shell up on there as well with the two dead losses. Show off. 
And they will be uh, forcing on, uh, focusing on Arsard instead because he is the one that's easy to pick off. And that's going to be Star picking that one off. And the barracks still standing, of course. And that's the one what, what mattered. In the meantime, Denny not backing off just yet. Not backing off at all. BKB, of course, up on the Luna. He has 1900 gold already as well. Light of Heaven now forcing himself away. With 3600 gold upon his lone druid. Maybe he still wants to go for a Radiance. At least uh, he cannot resummon his bear for another 35 seconds, so he has got no items until he has that one. But at least he has levels to take down these Ancients. So you've got Dandy also taking down Ancients on the other side of the map, though. There's gonna be Puppy pushing back top lane again as well. And that was just split pushing from Mavi. And it worked. For sure. For sure. What does Keeper of Light building with all that gold that he gets from those waves? Four staff mechanism, that's it, okay. So uh, let's take a quick look at the gold graph. It's going, of course, in favor of Navi again, especially after that last fight with those towers going down as well. Uh, we have got towards the 25k. Well, right now it's 22 probably in favor of Navi. Experience will look the same. Actually going towards the exact same value as about 22k experience in their favor. So no real surprise there. As uh, Well, El Pride still tries to fight back, holding on valiantly with the amount of uh, gold that they are at the deficit at. But uh, maybe with the sheep stick up on Queen of Pain, they will be able to make a difference as Queen of Pain almost has that one complete. In the meantime, Dandy, what is he, what is he going to build next? He has 1800 gold right now. Courier does not carry anything. Okay. Level 3 Necronomicon up on Jijikiro. We've got the Agonims up on the Darkseer, so that was his item of choice. Still got 1600 gold left. And his Darkseer bull is a bit more potent right now. 2900 gold up on the Luna. And that's the side of the Vice completed up on the Queen of Pain. There's so many targets inside the vice though, so many targets to hex. Like not just uh not just the lone druid or the brewmaster or well, actually every single one apart from maybe the Jakiro, but Jakiro is also such an MVP in fights. Those ice pads really make a difference. Dyer's As you have got Snuffy maybe trying to force out some TPs here. And the only ones missing is Puppy on this Brewmaster. But it seems like they're done fighting. As we have got the uh, javelin being picked up by the lone druid, so might be going for a basher there. Uh, actually, no, he also got the demon side, so going for an MKB. Illuminate going through. In the meantime, the bear doesn't care about Illuminate, cares about telekinesis though. Because that stops him from attacking. As there is needed! As there is needed! No, as there is getting, but Rubik already going down. TA melt damage is insane. BKB activated by Dada, but the right clicks will still go through. And there goes the trap, and then a snare. Queen of Pain still screams. But it's still not nice. uh, half HP, still has to be very careful there as the now puppy splits. Wants to go for Massacre. Massacre getting picked up right there. Beacon back to middle on Lunar. Massacre buys back. And they're not going for barracks, they're going for the heroes here. Which might not be a good thing. Because so far heroes have been able to keep uh, staying alive. Although now also Keeper of Light drops. And now Dada -da -da goes down, or does he not? No he does not. He just blinks away. Able to do that. Now Massacre last two up on a force. And that's gonna be him, locked inside and, and uh, Tornado will be going down just like Stock just now by the Brewmaster. Collapse. That Massacre will be staying alive for now. In the meantime, it is uh, both our side and Light of Heaven that decided, you know, guys, guys, we're here for the towers and the barracks. And they do get the barracks as Puppy still goes down inside the base of the opponent team. But the two sets of barracks, one set of barracks does go down. And maybe they're gonna be able to try and go for more. They still have no Keeper of Light and no... Luna, and Luna is of course the one that's supposed to carry up right through. Link away from Massacre, vacuum back in on Hakon though, Hakon goes down very fast again, Darkseer this time picking up the kill. Massacre trying to firefly himself away, flying over the base, able to do that. In the meantime, Creep Wave gets pushed back by uh, Arsart, or pushed forward I should say, because it's not pushed back, and that's also the Necronomicon gonna help out, and that's gonna be, uh, Tower gonna be taken down, or at least an attempt to Queen of Pain trying to do what he can to stop that from happening. Massacre now blinking in as well. Blink here from Puppy again though, doesn't have an ult, but doesn't care about that because Dandy also now blinks in, picks up Android, now Massacre gonna be the target and he is gonna be vacuumed back in and goes down to the lone druid before picking up that kill buyback from Dandy who still went down. Am I saying the right one? No, it is Luna actually that bought back, but Dandy did not go down at all. He is one happy Templar assassin, that's the second set of wrecks going down, now they go for the third one. A force doing that one as the tier three tower, tier four towers is gonna feel some arrestment as well. 
Four heroes down, his only long left alive is Star Cut upon his loon, and a GG well played goes out. It is El Pride that was able to stand against Navi, the fan favorite, for 45 minutes' time. With being at a such deficit for such a long time. So respect to them, but they are not able to turn the uh, around the game that was in favor of Navi from uh, from way basically minute uh, well as soon as that lone druid has his maelstrom basically that basically then the disconnect goes out and we're gonna wait until everybody disconnects over until the throne drops one of the one or the other and uh, we're gonna be seeing another game it's gonna be no tide undertaking on 3d max and then uh, we're gonna see also that game for star ladder as we will jump ourselves into that game afterwards my name is Shiva. i'm a ghost gamer scaster if you want to support me, Radiant please subscribe to my YouTube, youtube.com slash Shiver Gaming. And I need 5k subscriptions, so help me out there. And you can turn off the, uh, the message that you get every time I upload a match. So you can do that and support me on no Anyway, uh, we're going to be uh, we're gonna be seeing a lot of match. So, uh, so stick around for that one as we just see people having fun with the fountain as the tier 4 towers already dropped so the creeps are doing the job for not before them. And that's going to be everyone uh, dead again apart from... Uh, and that's going yeah, to be a fun. And that's gonna be that. Nah. If you want to follow more games, I mean, I mean, I, s I already said no tie down to first 3D Max is gonna be the game for me. But there's gonna be more games up at the same time. It's gonna be Epi that's already casting some Star Lord now as well. Toby will start casting the defense. And of course, if you want to follow Navi, you will be able to do so because Ghost of Leagues Division One will be having a game of Navi versus KP on purchase stream so there's four different streams with good matches going on right now so check uh, pick someone pick them all i would say if you have multiple streams so uh, and 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 follow them so uh, well anyway be right back with no title further 3d max stay tuned for more dota 2 action coming right up